my name is Clay Wong and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I wash my car. Because we are still stuck in lockdown here in Melbourne, Australia, it's been extended for another few weeks, I thought I'd show you guys just how I go about making sure that my cars are kept nice and clean. And because I had my car restored, painted and detailed, I want to make sure that the paint is looking minty fresh for years and years to come. And so because we're in lockdown, I thought I'd try a few extra products to increase the longevity of this paint condition that is on the car. Oh, and before we get started, I actually picked up two more microphones because I know you guys have been commenting about where's your microphone, Clay? Cars and microphones are really tricky to pair together. Through the course of YouTube itself, I picked up about five microphones. Every single video, I'm actually trying out new methods to make sure that the audio is on point. And because now we're shooting in the garage here in lockdown, there are a fair few other factors that we need to keep in mind. And because there are a lot of generators going, I picked up two more microphones from DG Direct. So I've got a total of about seven microphones now. So this is a Sennheiser MKE 200. It's a little vlog style shotgun microphone that works really well. I also picked up a Sony ECM LV1. This is a little lavalier mic that gets hooked up to your t-shirt. So you can hear me nice and clearly, especially in situations like this here in the garage. So let's hook it up and see how it sounds. We've got the Sony lav mic fitted up now. Let me know in the comments below if it sounds any better with this new setup. Let's go and unbox the rest of the goodies that we picked up for keeping this car clean. This is the PNS Double Black Car Shampoo, as well as also being a really foamy shampoo. So you can actually hook this up to a snow gun and it will just bubble up the entire car. And we're going to be showcasing what this car looks like just covered in snow. It's going to look epic. Just full disclosure before I keep talking about these products, none of this has been sponsored to me. These have been recommendations made by fellow detailers in the community. So huge shout out to Daylan and Ori for recommending me these new products. We've got a Max Shine wheel brush. And in combination to that, Guyon has just released the Iron Cleaner. This is a really cool product that they've just released because you can actually see the iron contaminants come off the wheel when it turns purple. Got some PNS tire dressing. This is the Guyon wet coat. So after we finish washing the car, we spray this all over, which should enhance the gloss as well as keeping it nice and protected. The Max Shine tire gel applicator. Here we've got some wash mitts. These are a really premium material and it's good to have a fresh set lying around. I'm a little bit particular, so I've got one for every single car. This is Guyon's new tire brush. I'm keen to test this out. We've got a few nozzles as well. And this is the secret weapon to what we're going to be unboxing today. This is the big boy blow up buddy. This is what all detailers use. And so we're going to be eliminating the chamois from the entire car wash completely. So this is effectively like a hairdryer for your car. It's going to really help keep swirls on the minimum. We've got all the products set up and ready to go. The car's behind me. We're going to go and drive it over into the wash bay. And then I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step procedure and how I go about washing my car. And hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two on how to keep your car looking nice and pristine for years and years to come. If you guys have been enjoying this lockdown content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's go. to washing the car is to definitely do the wheels first. As you can see, they are covered with brake dust and it's just super dirty. You can do this with a pre-washed wheel with just water or you can do it completely dry as well. Just spray off this entire wheel and leave that on for about two to four minutes. And if you have a close look at the entire wheel, it actually turns purple over time. That's when you know the product's working to strip out all the contaminants and essentially the grime on your wheel and then after that you can get your little brush you can do your wheel lugs like this so this is when you start agitating the product this is when it all begins to start foaming so make sure you don't let the product sit and dry after brushing out all the little areas i then like to use the nice long brush to get the barrels of the wheels itself as you can see all these areas here super hard to clean and you can't really do it with just a wash mitt so this just gets all the way through once that's all done then I like to get 
the tire brush. Now this, essentially you just brush out every single part of the tire. We just get a microfiber towel for the face of the wheel. And then once you've done all of that, you just hose down the wheel and then you're good to go. Once your wheels are looking nice and sparkly, the next step is to hose down your entire car. This removes all the pre-existing dirt and dust that's sitting on the car before you start touching it. It's really important to do this step. And in accordance to that, we're gonna also sort out our foam cannon, as well as having all the buckets ready for your two bucket wash method, which we'll be using today. <laughs> got the foam gun hooked up to the car chanel now the next step is to foam up the entire car we've got the pns loaded up in our little foam cannon here so we're going to go coat this entire car in soap <laughs> The next step is to now do the two bucket method. So let's go and get onto that. guys now the car is looking nice and clean it's all been washed with the two bucket method so it's pretty much good to go but because we've got some new products by Guyon I want to try it out I'm really really keen to see how this thing actually works so this is that new product that I've been so excited to try out this is called the wet coat by Guyon this essentially makes the car a little bit more hydrophobic so it repels water a little bit better and it also protects the paint so make sure you spray the entire bonnet might as well get the front bumper now we're meant to rinse this off immediately with a lot of water. So we've got the water pressure hooked up. Wow. That's actually looking pretty darn good. It's beating a whole lot. All right, now let's try the roof of the EG. Heaps onto the roof and to the rear wing spoiler. Make sure it's everywhere. Too bad we won't be able to see how effective this product is because we can't really drive our car in lockdown, but it's gonna be cool to know that I've got it on my car for extra protection if we ever need it. The wet coat has been fully applied onto the EG. It's now time to get out our secret weapon and that is the big boy buddy. This thing is gonna be so cool to use. It's like a little hair dryer. This is that little unit that we unboxed a little bit earlier. There's a setting between low and high. We've gotta connect this into the wall socket, but first it's really recommended that you guys get a little extension cord so that you don't have to struggle getting around the entire car. Just gonna hook that all up. All right, we've got the big boy all hooked up and ready to go. To switch it on, you just gotta switch it either to low or high. We're gonna go test this thing out. So let's try low first and see how strong this thing is. Whoa. Okay, this is on low. That is insane. I had no idea it was this effective. Now high. Instantly it comes off. This is so sick. 
This really helps you get all the little nooks and crannies, as you can see, completely dry. That's awesome. I think when you pair this with the wet coat, it makes for blowing or drying the car so much easier as well. You can really see why it's eliminated the need for a chamois completely with this device. All right guys, we're now onto the last and final step. This is the tire dressing by PNS, and we're gonna be spraying this onto our tire applicator, just like so. And essentially what we gotta do is to just wipe it down over the course of the entire tire. And it's really gonna bring some life into that tire. And this is the perfect finisher, in my opinion, to make your car look show ready. This applicator works like an absolute treat. It really gets into all the grooves of the tire, as you can see. Now, we can actually just let that dry and it comes up being a really nice matte finish. So that's done. We're gonna go do the other three wheels and show you guys a little bit more close-ups of how it actually looks when it's all done. That's it guys, those are all the steps I take when it comes to washing my car. It is a little bit of a lengthier process, but as you can see, it is so worthwhile in the end because the finished product, honestly, it looks glossy, shiny, and the new wet coat actually works really well. It makes the car really hydrophobic and it beads all the water off really quite effectively, especially when you're using it in combination with the big boy because you're able to get all the water out out of these nooks and crannies as well. Being that this is a little bit of an older car, it tends to rust if the water stays in those areas. I think it's a complete game changer. And if you have an older car, you're just wanting to step up your car care, Honestly, I definitely recommend the big boy. It is a total no-brainer. And best of all, you don't have to spend any more money forking out on chamois every single time. So I think that's a huge plus of that little unit. Well, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this informative segment on how I like to wash my cars. And the best part about it is that everyone has their own unique way of doing so. So in the comments below, tell me how you guys like to wash your cars. And if there's any other products that I should try out in later videos, leave it in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video or genuinely learned something new, please make sure you smash that like button. And if you guys haven't already done so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.